All right, we're live now. All right, we're live now. Okay, Fredim. So we got eight people on already, so you're you're quite the draw. <laughs> We will give it just another minute or two. Yahir says, what's up, man? What's up, Yahir? Good to see you again. And I think we'll go ahead and get started. I am here with the legit director of operations, or do, as we like to call him. Uh, George, let me see if I can get this right. George Jovanovic. How was that? Jovanovic. Jovanovic. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm getting there. It's only been three years, so so uh, yeah, I just thought I'd bring him on today because he's been running my service business, the stuff I sell on Legit, and before that on my my personal site, and before that on another site that we will not be named, and will not be naming. Uh, and he's done a fantastic job of it, better than I ever did. And I just thought he might be able to give us give you guys some insight on how he manages his day, how he keeps up on it, how we keep everybody's keep the high satisfaction rate that we've had for most, I guess it's the last three years or whatever. And yeah. pretty much everything else. Keith says, hey guys. Freddie says, yo, yo, Chris and Georgia. Hello. Is this, before we get into it too much further, is the sound and the picture okay? I can move over here so I'm looking at the camera. Yes, no, how's the sound, picture, everything good? Anyone? Bueller? Ronnie says, looks good. All right. <clears throat> For some reason, there's a delay. All right, man, why don't you just go ahead and tell everybody a little bit about who you are and what you do for us, and we'll go from there. And guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and for me or for him, just drop them in the, uh, the chat, and we'll answer them away. OK. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Georgi Jovanovic. Um, I'm a freelancer since I was 17. Um, I'm a freelancer six years now. I started on Reddit. Um, I've worked through multiple uh, marketing, marketing marketplaces, and um, I'm working for Chris two years now. That's two years. Yeah. OK. This is why I need people like him, because I can't even keep that straight. And tell, can you tell them a little bit about what you do for me and for Legit? OK. Um, I keep track of orders. I start and do uh, most of them. Um, I also do miscellaneous stuff for Chris. Um, Okay, he's kind of underselling himself a little bit, he's very <laughs> humble. What he does is he takes care of all of the fulfillment, meaning he does all of the work. You know, when an order comes in, he actually does the work, in most of it anyway. He handles most of the messages. A lot of the times, those are, for those of you that think you've been talking to me, you've actually been talking to him. <clears throat> and he also handles other odds and then tasks. He's very, very good if I can find something I need at coming up with having it figured out that day. And he's much, much more organized. And that's kind of the main thing I'd like for you to talk about today is how you handle the large volume of orders that we get with the efficiency that you do. So if you could just talk a little bit about that, like how you structure your day, how you keep everything organized and so on. And don't be so humble. It's okay, you do a great job. You deserve a little bit of recognition. Thank you, thank you. Uh, well, I feel like, can I start with something like uh, skip schedule or basic so, morning? Yeah, stuff? Talk about. Okay, so uh, it's important to keep a consistent skip schedule of sleep schedule of seven or eight hours. Um, I find that mornings are the hardest. Um, I do some um, basic conditioning with coffee, like I take a specific uh, brand of coffee and only drink it when I get up in the morning. So uh, I associate 
work with that specific brand of coffee. In time, uh, it makes it very easy to just get in the mood to work um, because the coffee associates me with working, if that makes sense. So you're, you're like mentally hacking yourself. For yeah, work. yeah. Better uh, way of putting it. Basically, yes. Um, I have a spreadsheet where I keep all of the stuff related to orders. I keep a very neat uh, schedule. Make I make notes for everything that happens on orders. Um, I have a lot of spreadsheets for different type types of services. Um, it's I find it's very important to take breaks uh, to stretch um, to rest for a bit uh, because our job is mostly sitting in a chair for a long time and that can get uh, tiring in the long run okay so what after you get up and you have your coffee and if you guys can hear the echo i'm getting i don't know what's going on so forgive me but what how do you get started with the actual work do you plan how, do you plan it the day before do you have an order that you do things in how do you go about it um well i schedule out my days one day would be for like pbn orders because they take a lot of time and another day i scheduled like sindvar um social signals orders and the third day would be like delivering and stuff um i believe that if i went with i do a pbn order and then they i deliver it and each one i do uh, like that it would take a lot of more time than just doing a batch of pbn orders and then delivering all of them later okay so what you're saying is that you chunk things so yeah at one time you're only working on one thing yes yes exactly and you find that works well it works really well because um even if um i did that uh, i have software limitations i can't have like 50 tabs open for uh, all of it so if i have tabs open only for pbns i can get more PBN orders done faster than I would if I uh, did everything at once. Great. Okay. And then that also applies to the actual delivering it to the customer, right? You do that all at once. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Um, um, I, when I get to work, I like to turn off all distractions, um, like Facebook, social media, and sometimes my phone even uh, if i have to get a lot of work done um, also i find it very important to uh, work every day so if you take a break one day and you don't get stuff done it won't magically disappear uh, you will have twice the work next day and when you get to it the next day you'll first have a feeling of being overwhelmed and even if you um get through it and get the job done, you'll be tired for the next day. So if that makes sense. It does. I, I know that about you. I know I've had to fight you to get pay time off when you go on vacation and stuff, which, you know, I, I like that about you, but I also worry about it at times. But I, I'm the same way. Anybody that knows me knows I rarely take days off. So. <clears throat> And you are also selling stuff yourself, right? So how do you manage to separate what you do for legit from what you do for you? Notice how okay. I keep avoiding saying your name <laughs> because I don't uh, want to yeah. screw it up again. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, okay, don't take uh, this the wrong way, but I do my services first, so. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Guys, in a completely unrelated note, legit is hiring a director of operations right now. Mm -hmm. no, just, yeah. <laughs> but you, you you keep time for that as well, right? Like, yeah, it's yeah. Just another. I do. And when you do, you literally like write out what you're gonna do next day, or how do you go about it? Is it just in um, your head? It's just in my head. Um, it's it's a pattern like i know one day i'm gonna do pbns the ne next one i'll do other stuff the third day i'll go delivering it's a pattern that you get used to freddie says do you use tools to keep organized or is it just all spreadsheet input great work ethics by the way i guess that's kind of what we just talked about mm, i guess yeah uh, um go ahead um I sometimes use uh, some tools to help me with different stuff. Um, like some plugins on PBNs make it easier to get stuff done. Oh, that's cool. I see, I didn't even know that. I mean, I've known of some, but I didn't know you found some on your own. So that's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what was I going to say? We've been on for about, I'll give it a few, no, a few more minutes before we do our first giveaway. SNAT says tools, tool uses for local SEO. Um, Sidebulb is great. We use that. Uh, Ahrefs. You'd have to be a little more specific, I guess. So what kind of tools, what other kind of tools? We use Slack a lot to keep track of everything we have specific channels for the different things that we do. We have some of the people we work with use, uh, what's that one that everybody likes, Trello. I'm not so fond of that myself, but it, I guess that helps with what we use it for. So that's another great thing. So you've also managed to bring in like a team of your own, right? Some people that work under you that help you do things. Can you explain how you manage them and how you found them and how that helps you and us and so on? Um, well, I've been working with a couple of people for a couple of years now. Um, they are mostly friends and or family uh, who I trust with other projects. Like for a while we had a recurring client that was a lawyer that needed some um, data gathering so it's it's not i don't handle any difficult task uh, tax tasks i just explain how star stuff works and let them handle it they're pretty good on their own so you found people that you trust and that you know if you show them how to do something they'll do it yeah so what you're saying is um, the key is to find someone that someone hmm. reliable yeah well that's reliable but like you don't just look at their skill set, you look at them as a person and see what kind of work ethic and quality they'll put out. Because I've seen times when one of them didn't do something up to your standards and you kind of lost your shit <laughs> about it. So it's more of, it's as much about looking for a particular type of person as it is looking for a particular skill set. Is that, would you agree with uh, that? Or? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've worked with like 20 people in the last couple of years and not all of them are still working with me uh, george the destroyer <laughs> um i really i respect people that respect me and my time uh, and i do the same for them so um if if they um, keep up well not keep up stick to the schedule and I don't have any harsh schedules. Um, we are fine. Well, that's good. That's good. I think it's important. I think it's one of the reasons that you and I have worked so well together because there was a time, you know, we have like 10, 12 people now. There was a time where it was just you and I. And I think that's why we've always worked well together. And then <clears throat> you work well with everybody else on the team. They all work well with you. And that's because I've made a point to find people who not only are talented and skilled, but are able to work, 
they have the right work ethic. Like I know if we have a good day of sales, you get just as excited as I do, you know? Yeah, that's I do. So that, that's... It's, it's difficult to find people that are uh, skilled, that respect your time and you, and have the will to uh, make everyone more successful in what you do, right. what they do. So can you tell everybody about how awesome I am to work with? I think that that's something everyone would ask so about. Awesome. He's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 100% I'm not feeling like you met that. But we'll, we'll All right, we've been on for fifth, well, 16 minutes now. So let's go ahead and do a giveaway. The crowd's kind of quiet today, so even though there's a good amount of people on. So hopefully this will get people woke up a little bit. So. This one will be for a free legit t-shirt. There are 14 people on. So between now and 318 Eastern, for the person that guesses the number between one and 14, will get a free legit t-shirt. So fire, fire when ready. Yeah, here asks if you're in a local agency. Can you repeat that? He's asking if you run your own business agency type thing, or do you just do freelancing? I think it's I just do freelancing. Yeah. You know, is there a reason you don't want to do something else, or you haven't done anything else? Do you foresee yourself? Um, I'm actually taking more and more time studying your courses, and I, I'd like in a month or two to start uh, more services on legit for myself. You should definitely do that. You, you obviously do a great job with it, and there's a lot of opportunity there. So we got some guests yeah. coming in. We got four, nine, four. Got here says he won before, so he won't participate this time. Well, that's nice of you. We got a seven. And we've got 30 seconds left, and we've still got another 10 people or so that can guess. If you want a free legit t-shirt, now is your chance. Everybody must be ready for the weekend today. I cannot blame them. This has not been the best week I've had, but you know, if every day was great, then no days would be great. Fair enough. So that was him humoring me. <laughs> <laughs> when he says stuff like that, he doesn't actually agree. Silvio says no. three. And Kirill says, Kakosi, what's up, gentlemen? What's up, Kirill? Hello, Kirill. Did you know that uh, did Georgia does does CrossFit? All right, time is up. The I got numbers between three and nine, so we will pick a number between three and nine. Five. No fives. Seven. There was definitely a seven. Seven was Keith. So congratulations, Keith. Send an email to info at superstarseo.com with your address and your size, and we'll ship you out a free legit t-shirt. And by the way, anyone that wins, we'd really love it if you take a picture of yourself wearing it so we can kind of create a little bit of a, a thing. I think it'd be kind of cool to see everybody wearing their shirts. So. Congratulations to Keith. We will be doing another few drawings in the upcoming minutes. Keith says, sorry if I missed this, but how do you guys handle the project management? Do you use SOIs? So, I don't know, I don't know what that is. I don't know what an SOI is. You mean SOP? Yeah. If so, then no. I'm a disorganized nightmare. Anybody on the team can tell you that. Um, when George started, I first started having him do just one thing and I made a little YouTube video and told him that's how you do it and he just did it and then next time there was something else I just showed him that and now like I don't even show him I just say we're gonna start doing this can you figure out how to do it and he figures it out but I don't know maybe you can give him a little bit better answer to that like how do you manage your projects like how do you keep track of what orders you have to do and like which order to do them in and things like that um well I while I do have uh, my spreadsheet for keeping track of everything, I simply like to do uh, well open every order and see if it's done. But again, I if 
I start with a service like one social signal service, then I go to Sindvar uh, orders, then citations, then guest post PBNs, like um, each, I go through each type of services to see if any of the orders uh, are ready to be delivered when I'm on my delivery day. Okay. It's, it's a bit simple, but it works. Yeah, that's similar to what I used to do, but I don't know, I, I always got flustered or whatever. I mean, I always kept up with it, but it literally consumed my entire, like that was the only thing in business I can do was fill orders. So the fact that you're so much better at it than me is, is, is very good. Um, I think I'm as good as I am because of my software, because of my hardware, because an important thing is you can't really have 20, 30 tabs open and go through all of orders if you don't have a good PC, right? That's, mm -hmm. that's also why I have two monitors, a good keyboard, a good mouse. Hell, like amen, because I do not know how people work off just a laptop. It drives me nuts no. to see somebody in there running like a business on a little Mac, which isn't a computer to begin with. But even if they have a real computer, it's just, I don't know how they used to do it on a full laptop. So I, that's a good point that I never considered. But yeah, I, when, I have, when I'm on vacation or something and I have just my laptop, it drives me absolutely nuts. Not to have it as a second monitor. So I think that's a really good point. Um, my laptop is not as good as my PC. So what I do is I connect to my PC through TeamViewer and basically work from my PC. Yeah, I've done that before too. I have both my office and my home PC on TeamViewer, and then I have it on my laptop when I have to do that as well. So when I was in Las Vegas back in June, one of them, I think it was the office one, got Windows updates and it rebooted without me asking. I was pissed. So Ronnie says, what strategy do you find works best to acquire local SEO clients? That depends on you and what you like to do. Some of my favorites are, well, back, I don't do outreach anymore, but when I did, I liked, <clears throat> I liked cold email because I could really, really target it to the individual person, or I could do the spray and pray method, which I'm going to be making a video about that very soon. <clears throat> um, call, cold calling is, works really well, but again, don't just pick up the phone and start dialing. Just a little Wolf, Wolf of Wall Street there, anybody? No. You need to really, really hone in on someone and have something prepared for them and have a good script written. That works well. And then the celebrity method works really well. It's a bit more of a slow play, but just keep putting out content after content after content along with ads. And people are going to start viewing you as an authority and come to you. That's my favorite method. So those are probably the best. Uh, LinkedIn still works pretty well. And check out, Ronnie, check out the video I did on YouTube, I think two weeks ago. And I kind of go into depth on some of those. So hopefully that'll help you out some. Uh, let me see. Do, 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 do. You have a great t-shirt. Yeah, you should have one on too. What's up? There you go. There you go. <laughs> Let's be honest though, everybody. I wear it better, right? Uh, no, <laughs> come on. <laughs> suck up a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys, if you have any questions for Georgie or for me, let, let's fire away. We'll do another giveaway in about five minutes. Uh, there was something else I wanted to ask you. You said something to me the other night that made sense. The other day you told me that when you're working on something, you don't get up until it's done. Like you stay there and you yeah. the whole time. How do you do that? Like some people get antsy and like try to give like how do you stay focused? Do you, um, how do I put this without calling you an addict? Do you take any kind of supplements or anything? Do you do, how do you stay so focused? Water. <laughs> really? I drink a lot of water. Yeah. Um, if I ever like, I might get a bit antsy or uh, just feel like, feel like I want to eat something or, you know, I just like to drink a lot of water to calm myself. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, I make, I make extra care to uh, not get, let anything bother me. Like um, when I, I'm in the zone 
and I work um, six hours in, uh, like small stuff, like hardware freezing or um, wrong temperature temperature in the room can can annoy me and get me out of the zone. So um, all those little things, uh, I like to take care of them in advance. You get to recognize them in time. So I like to take care of them so I don't get stressed or annoyed at any point. Work is work. I got in the like I, I don't mind working. That's cool. And that's a, it's not the most high tech answer. Like I'm sure a lot of people were expecting to hear some, I meditate and then I go out and stare at the sun and then I take, you know, a bunch of morning fill uh, and, you know, and I read Tony Robbins books every day. I mean, they were expecting all kinds of shit and your answer is water. So that just goes to show that, and this is actually, I'm probably going to get on a bit of a rant here, but it just goes to show that new does not necessarily mean better. That's the like, simplest tip that he, I asked him what the most important thing he did to stay focused was, and he said, drink water. That's the, he's doing it right now. <laughs> That's, uh, that shows that just because it's not some advanced new technique, some fancy tool, some fancy software, some new device or new app or some bullshit on his phone, it just, if the things that have worked in the past still work, just because they don't give you that little hit of dopamine because it's something new, doesn't mean that it's not worth doing. So learn the basics, master the basics, and then you'll, you'll be able to succeed just like he has helped me succeed, just like you, like he succeeded on his own. So the answer, I love that answer because it kind of goes into a rant that I was on earlier this week and now I'm talking about it again. So bam. Man, I wish I was as good as words as, we, as you are. <laughs> I'm honestly not like I've just kind of that's actually going to put me on another rant <laughs> kind of had to adapt as I've gotten into this type of business you know I, it, yeah. I had to learn how to do things that I don't know how to do that well and you're very good at that too like I said earlier like if we want to start doing this so like let's start offering this figure out how to do it and nine times out of ten you'll figure out how to do it and the one time you don't it's because it's not worth doing so you know I think you probably know what I'm talking about there yeah yeah but and the point is that if you're going to be successful at anything, you're going to have to, you're going to come across challenges and you're going to have to learn to adapt. I am very, very introverted. Like when I'm not talking to you guys, I'm literally by myself all the time and I'm totally fine with that. When I have to go to like a gathering or something, I like dread it for weeks, even though it ends up not being as bad when I get there as I like built it up in my mind. I'm not this outgoing at all. I don't like to talk. I'm just because it's key to my business. I forced myself to learn how to do it and it's, I've adapted and it's just kind of like what you do whenever we have something new or we have someone new come on, you know, that's just kind of how it works. So adaptation is one of the keys to success, I think. So I agree. Yeah. Very succinct. Well, we're going to do another drawing in just a couple of minutes, but I want to show something off real quick. Uh, let me see if I, how I can do this. Uh, check out the banners I have in, in my office now, courtesy of Michael Parker from the Superstar SEO group. Check him out at his website that I had memorized for the whole week and now have forgotten. But I'll, I'll drop later. And then Jessica from our team, they've arranged that to get those made for me because people said my office was too bare and it would look cool in videos. So check those out. I'm very, very happy with those. I was very kind of both of them. So shout out to Michael and Jessica. All right. They do look really great. Yeah, I agree. It kind of, it really dresses up the room a little bit, I think. So Kirill says, obviously water is vegan. Of course it works. <laughs> yeah, of course. Freddie says, come on, Georgia, let's hear all the secrets about Chris. Yes, Georgia, let's hear them. Um, I, I really like my job and, uh, Freddy, <laughs> I'll talk with you later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know what to do about that. The fact that you want to talk to him later still makes me, makes me a little nervous. But... Uh, about, about other stuff, of course, about other stuff. Aside, I'm sure some people would legitimately like to know, and you feel free to say whatever you want. How do you find it working one-on-one? -on -one? remotely with someone like how do you find that do, am i 
hard to work for or work with, I should say, or, you know, this is working with the team, do you feel like it's disorganized? Like, what do you think we could be doing better? Uh, that's a that's a tough question. <laughs> well, I I don't find you difficult to work with. Uh, I whenever I have something on my mind or something I'm having a difficult difficult time with, I can always ask you. I'll get a quick prompt reply about it. Um, okay. um, we as a team, Slack is very nice uh, for team management. And we have multiple channels about different stuff. Uh, I do find that very useful. Yeah, I, for a long time we were just using you and I were just using Facebook. Yeah, and switching to Slack was a big change. I'm kind of sad that nobody uses the random channel for <laughs> having fun. <laughs> it's. I'm glad you brought up having fun though. Like you and I joke around a lot, and I think yeah. that's very important to create that kind of atmosphere. I, I joke around with everybody on the team, and we kind of all do together. So I think that that's part of an important culture. Now, that everybody's that, that's not going to fit every business, but what I'm saying more is to create a certain type of culture to where everybody can kind of get along and fit into it. And I, I think that helps a lot. Yeah, it does. It helps to have a boss that's not like strict, uh, and you actually um, care about all of us. You ask us how are we uh, if we show that we are stressed or have issues with something, uh, you actually ask us if you can help it. That that really helps helps to have a boss that cares. No, thank you. <clears throat> Kirill says, what makes a good boss when you're a remote employee? What do you need for motivation to work as a remote worker? Is it just cash incentive or something else? I think that one's for you. Mm. Yeah. Uh, in the beginning, it was a bit cash because I was just getting to know you. Now I actually uh, want you to su succeed, legit to succeed. And uh, I try to uh, make myself succeed by learning new st stuff, getting, uh, I'll try to get new services for my legit profile. It's, I, I'm not really the type of guy that needs motivation to work. Mm -hmm. I like to work. Okay. Um, that was kind of going to be my response too, is I don't feel like I am working a lot of the time. Like there, there are days, yeah. well, trust me, I've had a few this week, but for the most part, I just feel like I'm, you know, it's just work. So. <clears throat> Ronnie says, what was your biggest, this is for me, what was your biggest challenge when you first started your agency, Chris? Well, I was still working full time. That was the biggest challenge was trying to find ways to talk to people and not get fired because I still needed that income. So I would go out. My office had like a break room and then outside of that was like picnic tables and stuff. So sometimes I would go talk to clients out there. But if it was too noisy, I would literally go in the bathroom and talk to them in there like I was a fucking sixth grader smoking a cigarette. I was going there hiding and basically not getting fired was the biggest challenge. And then scaling was the second biggest challenge because it got to a point when between finding clients and doing the work, I couldn't, I hit a bottleneck. And that's when I started using my clients to do the selling for me. So that, hopefully that kind of helps answers that. I think it's time for another giveaway. This time we're going to do a free month for a Superstar SEO Academy. This is good for anyone who's not a current student or Barry Page. We have 11 people on right now. So between now and 3.36.30, pick a number between 1 and 11 for a free month of Superstar SEO Academy. We've got a pretty quiet crowd today. So there's a good, and a lot of them are already students. So you get, if you guess, you've got a good shot at winning. And in the meantime, if you have any more questions for Georgia or for me, you can go ahead. I don't know why my picture looks so pale today. The lighting in here is different than usual. Freddie, you can't play, Freddie. You're already in. <laughs> I, I think I think Barry probably hacked his account and is trying to guess on his behalf. Yeah. Carol, you're already in too. Come on. Follow follow direction. See, when it's people I know, I can be a little more uh, sarcastic. 
George is thinking, when are you not sarcastic? <laughs> basically, basically. <laughs> All right, well, nobody's guessing, so I guess no one wants up. Oh, yeah, here says eight. So far, here's the only guess we've got, so he's got a pretty good shot. <clears throat> got less than a minute left. Carell says, but I'm good at guessing. Yeah, but the guessing is made out of meat, so. Keith says, Chris, how many guys, as well as Georgia, do you have working for you? It's kind of a tough one to answer, but let me uh, kind of explain it. We have, that work directly at Legit, we have two support people. We have Georgia and one other guy who does various SEO and Legit type tasks. Then we have myself, we have Jessica, we have Jim, and then Jim has a staff of maybe a dozen or so that help dealing with the development of legit and with audit. <clears throat> and Georgia has some people that work for him. So I, don't know, I guess that equals that to around 20 or so. Did I forget anybody? I don't think so. So I guess overall it's about 20. Hmm. And I didn't know that. Really? So you probably I mean, people that I, uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't know Jim had so many people. Yeah, well, yeah, it takes a lot of development time. So, and then you know, he of course they of course do other things for him. He owns his own development agency. So, hmm. that's nice. Right, we have two numbers, and time is up. So we got an eight and a nine. So this this is going to go quick. <laughs> Eight. So Yahir. Yahir wins a free month of Superstar SEO Academy. Congratulations, buddy. Just message me afterwards and I'll take care of you. So there we go. <coughs> Kirill says Georgia backwards is Edrodged, which is similar to Edward. That is a joke for George here. <laughs> George is getting upset. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so before you got into doing this, were you like, did you go to college or what? What drew you? How did you get to where you are? Like, how got what got you into freelancing and remote work? Um, well, when I started, I was still in high school. So how old are you? I, uh, I was seventeen. How old are you now? I'm twenty three now. Twenty three. Okay, continue. Um, well like any kid at that age uh, would want to. I, I'd like to have some money for snacks, for general kid stuff. So what I did, I went, I first, like any kid would, I first tried to get into uh, gaming, like streaming games or doing YouTube videos and stuff like that. Um, then I, I heard about Reddit. I realized that there's a topic for everything on Reddit. I searched um, subreddits for jobs um, and I literally posted uh, on Reddit like, I don't know to do anything, but I'll do odd jobs. And that really did well. Like I had five or six people messaging me. Uh, in the first month, I actually earned like $400 or something like that, wow. doing odd jobs. And that went on for like a year or two. I did various projects like research, data gathering. I actually did uh, one project um, making a game. I had to do some stuff for like a programming? game developer. Um, it was more like getting coordinates for various objects for a phone platform for a phone game. Uh, I had some huge projects. I had a list of 5,000 uh, products for a gym, like various supplements and other stuff. I had to fill in the spreadsheet with information, images, URLs, videos about it. That took days. Yeah, that doesn't sound very fun. Yeah, it wasn't, but it was a well-paid project. Mm. Mm. For when I first started, uh, I uh, I knew what, 
how well how poor paid the jobs in my country were and i was so surprised to see uh, how well paid jobs are on the internet and that gave me a huge boost to become who i am now like it is a uh, a money motivation in the beginning at, at least it was for me is money and i would imagine not having to have a job was the other part of that right yeah yeah i i don't really have a temper uh, but i dislike the idea of someone pushing me around and um, being mean to me <laughs> so That's and and funny for me to hear but <laughs> <laughs> um and bosses here aren't very nice so that explains a lot <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then from there you just kind of how'd you get onto like seo services and seo marketplaces was that through um, the mutual friend that we met through or yeah it was through him okay he, he, i'm sorry go ahead he actually got me an interview with you right kind of yeah like there was one time and let me just give the backstory here for everybody the way that i met him because a lot of people ask me how and i can't stand this term but people ask me all the time how do i find virtual assistants and the answer is i don't know because i've been very fortunate in that they've been introduced to me and that was kind of the case with you was i had someone who was doing one particular thing for me that i found on another marketplace and then he had to go on vacation so he, i guess he was friends with you and he had you kind of step in and do it while he was on vacation and by the way you were way better at it than he was <laughs> um and then when i got to the point where i was like i'm gonna literally kill myself if i don't get somebody to help me because i let that go way longer than i should have but uh he suggested i talk to you and it did and i kind of grew from there so i guess that was kind of how you ended up doing seo and yeah like that. yeah cool and do you do anything other than what you do on legit and what you do with me uh at the moment no uh i kind of don't have time between uh, doing my services doing work for you and uh, studying the courses you have okay i actually didn't know you were studying those so that's cool to hear all right let's do two more legit t let's just do the rest of the legit t-shirts we got three more or four more have i done three two i've only done one yeah all right so let's do two and then we'll do two more at the end so between now and 3.46 p.m., we will do numbers between 1 and 11 for two legit t-shirts. So two people are going to win. The numbers between 1 and 11 and go. And in the meantime, if you have anything else for me or for Georgia, let us know. So, <clears throat> see, this wasn't, you, you were a little bit nervous coming on today. This hasn't been so bad, right? It's just like you and me talking. I'm still very nervous. <laughs> ah, well, you're doing great. And I don't think anybody picked up on that. So you're, you're doing great. It's like I said, it's, you just got to, uh, when something comes up that you don't know how to do, you just got to power through it, you know? Freddie said three, Kirill says seven. Kirill was here. One day somebody's going to know what I'm talking about when I say that. Ronnie says six, Albert says 10. got about a minute left. Keith says he'll let someone else win this time. <laughs> well, that's very, very generous of you. Although you can never have too many legit t-shirts. I think I have about 20 of them, 20 or 25 of them. Gordon oh, said eight. Well, I don't wear anything else except when I go somewhere the way to wear it wouldn't be appropriate. But literally that's one of my hacks every day is to wear the exact same thing every day. So that's one less decision that I have to make every day. So I know exactly what I'm going to wear. I just grab it out of the the uh, thing with the fucking drawers in it. I'm drawing a blank. The dresser. <laughs> and uh, just I'm off to the races. We've got a few seconds left. We got so far three, seven, six, eight, and 10 have been taken between 1 and 12, or excuse me, 1 and 11. And yeah, winner gets two winners get a free legit t-shirt. Offer not valid for Barry Page. Poor Barry. <laughs> Don't feel sorry for Barry. No? 
did you not see that in the legit man handbook? Thou uh, shall not I missed start that. your very. <laughs> All right, about 30 seconds left. My thing just refresh. Uh, Gordon says eight. Silvio says 11. Keith says four. Keith, you said you were going to let somebody else win. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're, you're fine. <laughs> and about five seconds left. and time. So I got numbers between three and 11. The lesser successful 90s band, 311. First one is seven. So Kirill, congratulations, Kirill. You get a free legit t-shirt. Just drop your, uh, your address and your shirt size to info at superstarseo.com. And then the next one is four. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Keith gets number four. So I think you know what to do by now. Congratulations, Keith. I'm going to go ahead and draw another one, though. Eight is Gordon. Congratulations, Gordon. Send uh, your mailing address and your T-shirt size to info at superstarseo.com and we'll get you over a legit t-shirt. So there you go. <clears throat> All right, guys. Keith is laughing. <laughs> yeah, so don't, what else? Uh, if people want to do check out your services, they could visit. It's been scrolling across the screen the whole time, but what's your username on legit in case they want to find you that way? Um, Weber KG. So W-E-B-E-R-K-G. Yeah, you can visit chrisandwalker.io slash Georgie. Actually, that, that's an interesting thing we can talk about. It was about two, three weeks ago, you decided you wanted to rewrite your sales page. So you were, uh, oh, sorry. That's a direct result from uh, watching your course. Oh, well, like, and, and you, uh, you came to me and you said, do, do I know anyone that can write one? I'm like, not really. Why don't you just go ahead? And write it yourself, and you, and you did. And I checked it out, and you know, gave it a little polish. But for the most part, you did. And what has the result been since you got, like literally the next day? What what has the result been? I got so many orders. Like I got more orders in that day than in last in two weeks before that. And it's been pretty consistent since then, right? Yeah, it has been. And that was the only thing you changed. You didn't improve the offer. You didn't really advertise it any more than you ever had. Mm -hmm. I started advertising a bit more uh, on on Mondays, okay. well, Tuesdays, mm -hmm. and uh, that's all I did. I didn't improve the offer. Just just rewriting that sales page got me so many sales. Yeah, I thought I thought what you did was very good. I just you know, like I said, just uh, re rearranged the words in a few places was all I did. But the point of that story is one, we needed to fill some time, and two. <laughs> uh, that just that simple change just it took you maybe what an hour and it's like yeah made you several hundred dollars i would imagine now on like a five dollar service so yeah it has whenever we talk about you know writing copy and cleaning up your sales pages that's he's this is another great example of it i was actually shocked at how much of a difference it made so quickly you know no offense but like yeah yeah it's not you know social signals are great and it's a good service and we made a lot of money doing them but it's nothing sexy you know it's not <laughs> you know it's not like uh there's, there's only so many there's not a lot of excitement you can build into a sales letter for it so it was interesting That's to cool. that just all you basically did was explain what they do um i i've noticed that people try like i did before before changing it, try to sell it too hard or don't explain what social signals are or what they do. Or they, before the one I have now, I simply had something interesting. I thought um, being interesting would get me sales. It really didn't. Um, so I tried something else. I found out what other people did or didn't do and decided on um explaining my service more 
it worked out well, at least for me. Yeah, and it wasn't just a cut and dry, like you get yeah. this many this of this and this many of that. It was literally like if somebody had gone to Wikipedia or something and <laughs> said, you know, and not that this would be on there, but like, what is a social signal? You kind of wrote that, but you wrote it in like an engaging way and that made all the difference. Yeah. Keith says, what advice would you have for someone who wants to start selling on legit but doesn't know what to sell? I'll answer that, but I'll let you answer that as well. Um, well do you want to go first or? No, no, go ahead. You go first. Okay. So um, find out what your talents are. Uh, like if you can draw well, try making a designing service or if you have a a uh, calming voice, pretty voice, maybe audio service or something. If you know how to make a good video, do that as well. But um, people try too hard to make up a different service. I find um, doing something other people do, uh, but do it really, really well. Like be better than most of other people. Yeah, and I think you made a good point there too, is that a lot of people will say, oh, there's already one of these on there, so I can't make one. There's a reason that Wendy's and Burger King and Hardee's and Sonic all exist in the same marketplace that McDonald's does. And not that you should compare your services to fast food, but the fact that there's that many of them means there's room for more than one type of burger or more than one type of whatever it is that you know how to do, you want to sell or whatever. To add on to what he said is, find something that you know how to do and that you're good at and make a good service and then focus on the marketing. The best serve, the best product should always win, but it doesn't. So focus on the marketing and the sales. Remember, this is a lot of people think of this as a side hustle. And if that's all you want from it, that's fine, but it's still a business and the people that promote more are going to win more. So, and to continue on to that, another thing you can do is think about what you don't like to do and do that for other people. Because if you don't like to do it, that means that other people don't like to do it and they're willing to pay someone to do it. So if you're just getting started, that's a great way to get a reputation. I freaking hate setting up PBNs in the beginning. I did that though. I sold that for like five bucks and that got me some reviews. And yeah, I knew that I could sell it because people don't, I'm not the only one that hates doing it. Another thing is think about if there's any software or any tool that you have a free year of, or so, for example, it's kind of a, hint in what direction to go there and then just sell pieces of it when and what i mean by that is if it generates a report sell the reports if it builds a certain type of i don't know a link or whatever build links but think about what you already have and that you can if nothing else get the cost of it covered for you that's kind of what we do with siteball we don't really sell that many of the audits but we sell enough in a month to cover the cost of it and then we get to use the tool for free so that's another thing you can do and it helps build up reviews as well and then you can you also you can check out my freelancing course where i talk more about that that's totally free it's uh, legit freelancing mastery.com plus you're an academy so you have that anyway in your library so check that out too we, we talk some more about how to get your first sale in there so that that's a great question it comes up it honestly that question does not come up as much as it should I, I get a lot of people and i'm probably about to go on another rant here but a lot of people i don't want to say whining but stating that they aren't getting any sales or they aren't getting their first sale but never once have they asked me how they can get some sales you know it's I just i listed my service and i'm not getting any sales you need to have an app no we don't need to have an app we will have an app and it will help but that's not gonna take you from having nothing to having sales. Same thing with Payoneer, same thing with one feature after the other. Sometimes you're gonna to have to go out there and push it yourself. So accept that you're gonna to have to do a little bit of selling, a little bit of marketing and so on, that that will help you get you know some sales on legit or wherever you wanna get sales really that applies to anything. So that's kind of that. Craig says, name three things I can do right now to get leads. <clears throat> Um, I mean, you can do advertising. I like to do a lot of advertising, whether it's Facebook, Google, whatever. Again, it depends on what kind of leads we're talking about, but that works really well. There's, you can use, just go to Google and look at page two 
see who needs SEO. That's another way. You can go to yp.com, see who's paying for ads and almost certainly wasting money. So that's another place you can get some SEO leads, assuming that's what we're talking about here. Uh, where else? LinkedIn is a great place you can kind of see. And then there's a bunch of automated tools as well, scrape box, scrape, scrape leads, and so on. So that's kind of off the top of my head. You can go check, you can go, if you're comfortable going in person, you can go to meetup groups, chambers of commerce meeting, chamber of commerce, to the chamber of commerce meeting in your area uh, and other organizations like that. I don't really like doing that because as I said, I'm very introverted, but that I did do that. And matter of fact, one of my current clients is someone I met at one of those. So there's that too. So those are a few spots you can get leads. All right, we got about four minutes left and we still have three things to give away. So let's get that out of the way and then we'll wrap up with any final thoughts. All right, we have two legit t-shirts and a month of Superstar SEO Academy to give away. So let's start with the two legit t-shirts. We have 13 people on. So between now and 3.58.30, give me a number between one and 13. And two of you will win legit t-shirts, except for Keith and Barry. Keith, you're disqualified this round. <laughs> <laughs> and Barry, you're disqualified until the end of time. He's not even on, but you know. He'll watch this. Exactly, everybody's gonna watch. Of course. Aledo says, watching you now. Yeah, here says, sponsor, sponsor some local bee. That was probably an answer to Craig's question. Mac says 11, Freddy says three. I'm gonna need Freddy to prove that he's not actually Barry. Ronnie <laughs> says 13, Kate says no fair. <laughs> And you won one last time, and you won two today. <laughs> Lucky man. I might, say, I might have you go pick my lottery numbers. That's a good idea. Do you have a lottery there? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've never bought one in my life. My grandfather loved it, though. I think I have like two or three and maybe earned, well, got enough to buy another one. I, didn't, I just don't like chance basically it's the reason i prefer poker to like dice games because there's a skill to it as opposed to just complete random luck at my old office they would do the thing where they put in a bunch of money together and buy lottery tickets and i always said they could just give the money to me because they weren't going to win anything anyway and then at least one person would have more money the next day no one ever bought on that though hmm. all right and we have just a few seconds left. So far, we've only had three guesses at four two t-shirts. So you guys got a good shot. Mac wants to know what the winning lottery numbers are as well. Gordon says six. <coughs> and time. So Jonathan said 13 right at the bell. So we're going to pick between, or he said 23. All right, I said between three and 13, but we'll, we'll, let, we'll throw Jonathan in there since I think he just jumped on. So we're looking for two numbers between three and 23. All right, Jonathan, you get one. You just send an email to info at superstarseo.com with your mailing address and your shirt size. No, this is for a t-shirt, Craig. We'll do the, that next. Uh, let's see, so between three and 13. We were doing so good today too. Freddie wins a t-shirt. Congratulations, Freddie. It's just, uh, you know what to do by now. And now we're gonna do the, for the one free month of Superstar SEO Academy, so we got 15 people on now, so give me a number between 1 and 15, between now and 4.02 p.m. Eastern. And then we will answer any remaining questions and give our final thoughts. But we're looking for a number between 1 and 15. Freddie cheated, disqualified. Oh, Kirill says you're out, Freddie, so 
no shirt for you. <laughs> <laughs> Keith says, congrats, Freddy. Freddy says, come on. Mac says 10. Mac, you're already in. Uh, Craig says 14. Simon says 13. Got about one minute remaining. Jonathan says seven. Gordon says six. <clears throat> My clock won't come up. Good luck, people. All right. And Usman says eight. And come on, why is technology being developed? All right, and time. So we had numbers between two and 14. So set this up to pick between two and 14. Five. Two. Two is Ronnie, right? Is that right? Yes. Two is Ronnie. So congratulations, Ronnie. Just uh, shoot me a message after we jump off of here, and I'll hook you up with your first free month of Superstar SEO Academy. Barry said 16. Barry doesn't count. <laughs> All right, my man. I think that we're done. You need to get back to work anyway. But uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, do you have anything else you'd like to say or talk about or tell people that where they can check mm -hmm. out or anything like that? Well, I find the most important important thing in freelancing is to take care of yourself, to not uh, to not let stuff get to you. To like when try to find what works for you and stick to it. Be consistent with stuff that works for you and well take care of yourself awesome that's a great answer i think that's a great way to close all right guys thanks for hanging out with us uh yeah i don't even have anything to pitch just check out george's services at he's a weber kg on legit or at chrisandwalker.io slash georgie thanks for coming on today i know that this was a big step for you so i'm glad it was just uh wasn't so bad so all right guys we'll be back next week we're inviting me What's that? Thank you for inviting me. Of course. We'll be back next week. I hope you enjoyed this. And until then, take it easy, figure out what you want out of life, and go out and get it because you owe it to yourself and you owe it to the world. So have a great one.